how's it going y'all today as promised we're going to talk about home trackers so unless you've been living under a rock then you are aware that at the vgc world championships in japan this year a lot of players got disqualified for having hacked pokemon and in my opinion and the widely accepted opinion and i'm going to show you how these players basically got disqualified for having invalid home data so let's get into details of what these home data is so whenever you put a pokemon into pokemon home it is assigned a home tracker which is a unique number assigned to this pokemon that basically tells where it came from so now you're going to be asking so how are these players getting flagged so because a home tracker can tell where pokemon came from it can tell if you gend a pokemon into a game when it should have came from another so for example the player um, Brady, he brought up how his Urshifu got flagged. And so when you have Urshifu, at the time you're making this video, Urshifu can only come from Sword and Shield. So if you take an Urshifu and you gen it directly into Scarred and Violet, it's missing a home tracker. So that is a, basically a dead giveaway of the fact that it did not come from Sword and Shield originally and pass through home. So it's an, it's an easy thing that gets flagged. And... I'm basically going to walk you guys through that entire process. I'm going to show you guys from Sword to Home to Scarlet and Violet, a Urshifu getting that home tracker and that whole process. And I'm also going to show you an Urshifu gen directly into Scarlet and Violet to Home and show you how Home flags at Pokemon. So just make sure you're paying attention. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to break everything down. You may see a couple jump cuts in between just because of like how long the home loading menu is and like the save screens and stuff like that. But like I said, I'm gonna show you guys in detailed process how all this stuff works. Okay, so I've got my copy of Pokemon Sword open and I'm gonna show you basically the process of going from Sword to Home and then to Scarlet and Violet and how the home tracker is applied and how it's, it kind of works. So we're going to go to my Pokemon Sword, and I have a hack switch, by the way, so that's a way I can show you guys the home tracker and that whole process. So I'm going to my boxes, and right now, I do not have an Urshifu here, but I'm about to drop an Urshifu directly into my game from PikaX. So I'm going to open up PikaX, and I've got this Urshifu here, and I've got it nicknamed Swish. That way, we can kind of know... That way we can kind of visually see where this Urshifu came from. So we're going to go to the OT tab and you're going to see that home tracker. It says 000, all zeros. And that's basically to show that this Pokemon does not have a home tracker at the moment. So let's go back to my game and you're going to see now that Urshifu is there. So let's close that. Let us save. And then we're going to go over to Pokemon Home. Okay, so we got home open. Let's go here. Let's go to my copy of Sword and open that up. And we're going to take that Urshifu that I nicknamed Swish and we're going to move him over. So now, there you go. You guys can see it. We're going to save. And we're gonna go and deposit him into my copy of Scarlet. Let's go back. And we're going to go from here and drop him in. And you see, that's just a little thing talking about how moves get changed or whatever. Remember, this is my Urshifu named Swish. OK. 
Okay, so now we're going to go to my copy of Scarlet and we're going to look at this uh, Urshifu. Okay, so now we're in my copy of Scarlet and we're going to look at this Urshifu. So here's that Urshifu named Swish and I'm going to show you his info in PKX. So now we're looking at the Urshifu in PKX and you're going to see that now this Urshifu it has a home tracker. So now you know this Urshifu is legit. So now I'm going to show you the inverse of this problem. I mean, not the problem. Now I'm going to show you how these players are causing them problems by showing you the inverse and the incorrect way to do this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to gen in another Urshifu. And I'm going to name this Urshifu SV. I'm going to have him take up this spot right here. And basically what I'm going to do with this Urshifu, I'm going to take this Urshifu who has not gone through home before and is, has not originated in the right game, which as you see, he has no home tracker and I'm going to put him into home and show you how home affects that. So now... There's that Urshifu, there's Switch, there's SV. So I'm going to go and save. And now we're going to open up Pokemon Home. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take both Urshifus and we're going to put them in Pokemon Home. So you got Swish right here, and you've got SV right here. So let's go ahead and save. As y'all can notice, I sound different, and I'm also in the Pokemon Home mobile app. And I'm going to show you the two key ways by using the mobile app of how you can tell if something does not have proper home tracker and basically proper home data so remember i made two urshifus i made the one that i showed you guys first nicknamed swish that i made originally in sword and shield and the one nicknamed sv that i made directly into scarlet and violet now i'm going to point out two big differences between the two that will show you when something does and does not have valid home tracker data so if you look in this upper left hand corner, this one has a Pokeball here. The one nicknamed SV that I made directly into Scarlet and Violet does not have a Pokeball. The other big difference is when you go down to your first met uh, area, this one says Master Dojo. And at the time you're recording this, Urshifu can only be encountered in the DLC in the Master Dojo. Now let's go look at the same thing for my Urshivu that I ginned directly into Scarlet and Violet. Notice, you go down to the first met, there's just a line. And the reason there's just a line is, as I said, Urshifu has to come through Sword and Shield first. So, because this Urshifu was ginned directly into Scarlet and Violet, it has no record of being in home, which it needs. So... The data is basically, it, it, it doesn't match up. Home has nothing to match up with for a Pokemon that should have came from home to Scarlet and Violet first. So, like I said, I'll go over these again. Difference number one, no Pokeball in the upper left-hand corner. And difference number two is the first met tab is completely just cleared out. So, use that. To help you guys out as much as you can if you have any questions for me ask me in the comments but basically like i said the whole rundown is if you want to gen things properly make sure that you gen them from the original game and they go through home if needed that way they have the appropriate home tracker data because this is the mistake that those vgc players made when they when they uh, made their Pokemon for Worlds, unfortunately. So, remember, it's got to go 
through home first if it needs to have that data because if it doesn't go through home first you're going to have these two blaring differences that are pretty obvious signs that a pokemon is ginned and illegitimate hacked whatever you want to call it so like i said any questions let me know in the comments make sure to like and subscribe share this video to make sure that other people are well informed of how the home tracker works and i'll see y'all later